Okay, well, thanks everyone once again for joining us. Um, welcome to day two of the Mining Northwest Conference. Uh, thank you for joining us for our third session in the careers education and training session. Again, we'd always like to thank our sponsors, uh, Thunder Bay Community Economic Development Commission um, for sponsoring day two of the conference. It's really appreciated as well as all the mines and, and gold and silver sponsors of the project. Uh, in this session, our presenters will have speak for 15 minutes and there'll be an opportunity for a five minute question and answer at the end. Uh, feel free to either use the raise your hand feature in Zoom or to post a chat in the question or uh, chat box, post a question in the chat box. So with no further ado, it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Joanna Hodge, um, Professor of Geology and then the ERT and the ERT Program Coordinator at the School of Environment and Natural Resource Sciences at Fleming College. Um, I sort of first bumped into some of the students from uh, the, the program that uh, Joanna's going to talk about recently this summer and was really impressed. And I thought it would be a really great opportunity for some of the mining mining companies here in North Ontario to hear some of the great things they're doing. So with that, I'll hand over to Joanna to tell you about their program. Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, kia ora. And thank you for the warm welcome, Pete, and the opportunity to speak with you today. I'm coming to you from Kirkfield. I am delivering from home today which is home to the Mississauga Anishinaabeg and in the traditional territories covered by the Williams Treaties. As an immigrant to the territory, I'm grateful for the opportunity to live and work here and to honor the care and teachings of the Michi Sagig who have been stewards and caretakers of this land for countless generations. Peter asked me to speak today to introduce you to our program, to explain what we do here at Fleming College and how our learners are valuable assets in the mining and mineral exploration space. I describe the program as a hidden gem because often college students and graduates are overlooked by employers for technician, technologist and entry level positions in favor of university students. So employers, I want to let you know what you're missing. And for anybody out there considering a career in geology, I'll explain the pathways that are available to you and the benefits of being a Fleming College ERT graduate. So the Earth Resources Technician Co-op Program is part of the School of Environmental and Natural Resource Sciences at Fleming College, which is located in Lindsay, Ontario in the city of Kawtha Lakes. The college itself has four campuses, the largest of which is the, Th the Sutherland campus in Peterborough, but we like to think that we're the main campus. Sanders is the largest school in the college, and we train our learners to be technicians and technologists in diverse natural and environmental sciences, such as fish and wildlife, ecosystem management, environmental tech, forestry, GIS applications, conservation law enforcement, the list is quite extensive, but of course, we also have our geology program. Now, geologically, we're located in an ideal location near the transition zone between the Paleozoic bedrock of Southern Ontario, which I just accurately described as not particularly interesting in drill core, and the Canadian Shield, which of course is a whole lot more interesting. So we do have plenty of opportunities to explore things like stratigraphy, structure, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary petrology. And we also have fabulous access to glacial landforms and processes. In 2016, we were very fortunate to receive federal and provincial money for infrastructure improvements. So along with a contribution from the college, we spent about four and a half million dollars modernizing our facility that had not seen improvements since about 1970. We had some pretty dark and dingy brown lab spaces that were redeveloped into open accessible spaces. And we also had the opportunity to purchase new equipment for geophysics, soil classification and XRF analysis. And we improved our audio visual capabilities. We also had the opportunity to purchase new samples so we could expand our mineralogy and petrology offerings. 
So our geology wing is actually one of our campus highlights and our outreach folks and our student ambassadors very proudly show off our beautiful facilities. So this image here is a view into our mineralogy petrology lab. The photograph itself was actually taken during a Women in Rocks event that we held in 2018, not long after the facility opened. So this was an event that we held to encourage women and girls to consider careers in geoscience and also to bring the general public into our brand new open spaces. So let's take a look at the program itself. The Earth Resources Technician Co-op Program, the ERT program, is the only Ontario college geology program that offers a range of geology, mineral exploration, environmental and engineering techniques in a single program. Our competitive programs, or those that potentially compete for students who are interested in geology, primarily focus either on civil engineering or specifically on mining techniques. Students who are interested in completing the ERT program come to Fleming in the fall. We only have one intake and that's in September. And they enter into the common first semester where they take a variety of courses in environmental and natural resource sciences. And they also take some general arts and science courses. They progress to semester two in the winter, and then they complete a mandatory six month co-op between their first and second years. So they don't return to school again until late October for semester four, which is delivered at double speed. And then they complete their studies in the winter of the following year. So it's a pretty unique model that we have. Our common first semester delivers seven mandatory courses for students in seven different programs, including ERT. So they have four courses in environmental and natural resource sciences, including a course called Earth and Atmosphere, which is an intro geology course that introduces students to the concepts of plate tectonics, rock and mineral identification, stratigraphy, collecting field notes, the geology and glacial history and landforms of Ontario. And we also look at things like the engineering characteristics of soil, hydrogeology, subsurface investigations and climate change. So it's a bit of a beast of a course. There's a lot of information that we cram into that 15 week course. Uh, students also take math, communications and indigenous perspectives. Now, one of the real advantages of common first semester is that students who apply to centers have to select their program, but common first semester exposes them to different aspects of environmental and natural resource sciences. So they have the opportunity to switch programs before semester two, which is when they specialize. This has been great for us in ERT because a lot of people who come to college are unfamiliar with geology and don't really consider that it is a career option. There is almost no geology taught in high school these days. And despite the contribution of geoscience to Canada's economy, few people are aware of how it is integrated into their lives. So we have program switches that come into ERT every year, including some who have planned to enter things like fish and wildlife. In semester two, we have a much stronger focus on our core geology courses. And these are, we very heavily emphasize practical hands-on experiences. So they get more rock and mineral identification and igneous metamorphic and sedimentary processes. They also learn how to undertake geotechnical testing, subsurface investigations, environmental testing, and there's a really, really strong focus on safety in the geological workplace. They also have some general courses in statistics, chemistry, communications, and career prep. And all the semester one and two courses are prerequisites for co-op, which is usually completed in semester three. So our co-op is mandatory. You can't graduate the program without completing co-op but it can be done in any aspect of geoscience. 
students have to complete a minimum of 645 hours in that six month period. And there are some reporting requirements of their employers and supervisors. So we do require a midterm and a final employer report and students have the opportunity to see and comment on that. The students themselves have to submit a final report and we publish that in our Rock Your Career Path blog. So we've had students work in all sorts of aspects of geology, uh, mining and mineral exploration, geotechnical engineering, geo tour guides. But what I love the most about co-op is I see them come back in October and they're completely different people. They have confidence and experience. They have opportunities to work independently and they get responsibilities that don't always come with summer student placements. So that's because we're extremely well connected with employers in a range of industries and those employers come back to us year after year. Now in semester, in the second year, curriculum is primarily focused on core geology courses and we have a much stronger emphasis on aspects of mineral exploration. So I am currently running a mineral exploration sampling protocols right now, which is a skills-based course where students learn how to collect soil samples, how to process diamond drill core. They get training in portable XRF analysis. And I have a level two PXRF certification. So anybody who has completed this course can actually apply for their XRF analyzer operator certification through NICAN. Uh, we also emphasize uh, ESG and we take a look at things like mineral deposit models and commodities, mining life cycle, regulatory compliance, those kinds of things. One of the things that really, really helps us out with the ERT program is that we also have a resources drilling program at the Frost Campus. It is the only one of its kind in North America and they are extremely well equipped, including having a brand new diamond drill rig. So we set up our mineral exploration sampling course as a mock client contractor relationship. The courses run simultaneously. So the diamond drillers drill and collect core and the ERT students act as the clients and we, we process the core, we set it up for sampling, we cut it and we look at what would have to happen to core to be analyzed and sent off to the lab. So it's fantastic that they actually get to experience this on campus drilling, it gives them a huge advantage I had none of that when I graduated from university and it was very detrimental to my career early on in the piece. We have an indigenous perspectives designation that students can take as part of their ERT program. And that has, a, has an extra emphasis on indigenous perspectives. So we have some discipline specific curriculum that is embedded into the semester. And there are two general education courses on Indigenous perspectives that students take as part of that. We also have some fantastic dual diploma pathways. So students who have completed the environmental technician or technology or the resources drilling programs can come directly into uh, the second semester of the ERT program. So you can get two degree, two diplomas in three years with a much broader range of skills. We also, and this is something that we're very proud of, have two articulation agreements, one with Acadia University and one with Trent University. So these are two plus twos. Students who've graduated the ERT diploma can enter directly into the third year of either a Bachelor of Science in Geology or a Bachelor of Environmental Geoscience. And once they've completed those bachelor's degrees, they are eligible to register as geoscientists in training with PGO or the Nova Scotia equivalent of PGO. So this is one of our students, uh, Mitch, who is currently at Acadia 
And I would very proudly like to mention that Mitch was a recipient of the PDAC SEMU Award in 2020. And since I started working at Fleming College in 2013, we have had a recipient, we've had, we've had a student who has won a place in that workshop every year but one. So it's a highly competitive process, mostly competing against university students. And we are extremely proud of the fact that our students can successfully compete in something that is so difficult to get into. All of our graduates get jobs. We have 100% postgraduate employment in the industry. So our demand for employees far outstrips our number of graduates and we would love to increase the number of students that we have in the program. So what is next for the ERT program? We are small, we're very small currently because of COVID, but we're mighty and we have lots of plans. We actually have a name change in the works. We want to change our name to Geological Technician because it better reflects what our graduates do. We have a Women in Natural Resource Sciences event planned for April the 8th and 9th in 2022. And so we're really strongly focusing on inclusion and diversity in geoscience, which is the least diverse of all of the STEM industries. We're increasingly focusing on accessibility and I'm currently planning an accessible field trip to Northern Ontario for semester two students. So if anybody has any thoughts on appropriate locations to take students, I would love to hear from you. And we're also hoping to construct an on-campus rock walk so that we can have students and members of the public come in and just get their hands on geology on campus uh, and we have a mineral museum in the works. We have some samples that were donated to us a couple of years ago and we'd like to establish a small on-campus mineral museum. So there are lots of exciting things that are happening at Fleming College. If you're a student, I would love to hear from you if you have inquiries about the program. If you are interested in providing opportunities for co-op students or you're looking for program graduates, please also don't hesitate to contact me. I would be super interested to hear from you. So thank you very much for taking the time today to hear about the program. Uh, we do have a couple of minutes left for questions. Thank you, Joanna. That was that was an awesome presentation. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased to see that geology is the highlight of the campus at Fleming, as it should be at every educational institution. Um, <clears throat> so I guess we have one question that I thought I saw a hand up, but it's gone. Uh, uh, yeah, Alexandra's got a hand up. So maybe uh, if you want to go ahead, Alexandra. Yeah. Hi, Joanna. Thank you so much. I actually missed your email. I just wanted to catch the last bit of that really quick. If you could provide your email to me, that would be great. Let me just pop it right in the chat here for you. Thank you so much. And I, I guess I may have missed it, Joanna, but how many students do you have in the program currently? We have 14 currently in second year and we have 25 coming in from common first semester in January. So about 40 currently, we had, we had about 55 pre-COVID, but of course, nobody really wants to come to college and do hands-on training online. So we've really been set back in the last couple of years with that alternative delivery piece. I think that's great. And yeah, and I'm, I'm sure there's, there's pro I know up here that there's always a challenge finding for the companies finding good technicians. So hopefully that that offer of some co-op opportunities will resonate with some of the local companies up here, which would be fantastic, I think. I, as I said, I met some of your students this summer and they were passionate, enthusiastic. It was, it was a real pleasure. I'm always happy to hear that kind of feedback. And I really do have a great group of students. They are engaged, they're interested, they love what they do, and they're looking to make significant changes from the inside out. Fantastic. 
Okay, so we don't have, uh, oh, there's one question. Are you going to have rock slash or samples from the mines in the region? Yes, I hope so. We can pretty easily get our hands on chunks of limestone, <laughs> but <laughs> I am interested in connecting with people who have things like key mineral features. Obviously we can't encompass the entire country, but you know, standard rocks that should be recognized by anybody will be in there. And then, you know, some of the really unique or interesting or particularly important mineral deposits from Ontario. So we're looking as, we're gonna start small, we're gonna grow it. And hopefully I can connect with some people who would be interested in donating some boulders to us. <laughs> so Joanna, thank you so much. And uh, uh, Peter, before I, uh, before I hand it off to you to, uh, to close out this session and uh, get us ready for the next one, I just want to remind everybody that uh, there are about 25 uh, displays that are in the uh, virtual expo platform. Uh, a lot to see that relates to careers, training and education. So uh, drop in, say hello to the HR staff. So you, if you're in this room today, and uh, you're a student or somebody that is, uh, is know someone that lo is looking to, uh, to become a student in any of these fields, be sure to, uh, to check that out through the homepage uh, of this particular trade show. And if you're looking for a career, there are several mines and supply companies accepting resumes at their booth. So if you have a PDF file and you wanna share that, you can do that as well. Joanna, thanks again. And Peter, I'll uh, hand it back over to you to uh, close us out and uh, get us ready for the next one. Thank you very much, Kevin. And thank you, Joanna. It was a great presentation. Uh, just a reminder to everyone to log out of this Zoom room, go back to the main webpage and connect to our next session. And we'll look forward to seeing you all there very shortly. Thank you all.